Hey YouTube, doing some more work on my four and a half horsepower United. As you see, I lifted up the flywheels and crankshaft with my Ford loader tractor and gently set them on the on the main bearings. I shimmed the bearings, I made a bunch of shims. I already had some thick ones. I made some really thin ones out of paper. I would have liked to use really thin sheet metal, this shim stock, but I didn't have any, so paper works pretty well. The only problem is that it compresses a little bit when you're tightening the nuts down, so it requires a little bit more, a little bit more finick, finicking around, but uh, it works all right. Did the same thing with the rod. Now I got the piston in there. One important thing that everybody should uh, you should know when you're getting into stuff like this. Always mark everything the way it came out and put it back in the same way. The rod bearing, you can see I made a faint hacksaw mark across there so I know that the cap went this way rather than that way. And on these hit or miss engines there's a greased cup hole up here that should be facing upwards. And inside there, there's an oil hole on the wrist pin uh, joint. That oil hole should be pointing upwards. And on the piston, there's a corresponding hole. Can't see it in there, but there's a corresponding hole that also must be facing up. So when oil drips in from the oiler, which would be here, it'll oil the uh, it'll drip through the piston and oil the wrist pin, or else you'll wear out your wrist pin really fast. So uh, I oiled up the piston really well. I squirted oil behind the rings, um, over the rings. I rubbed oil all inside the cylinder. I used 1540s, kind of thick stuff, so it would stick around for a while. And a lot of hit or miss engines, at least the ones that I've worked on, there's a, a chamfer at the base of the cylinder, and that allows you to not need a ring compressor, piston ring compressor, to get the piston in. All you have to do, you just insert the piston from the back and you just sort of gently wiggle it and maybe squeeze the rings a little bit with your fingers and that and that chamfer there will funnel the rings right in. I had to have a little bit of help from one of these dead blow hammers. Really handy thing to have around. You can really beat on something and you won't damage anything, you won't even damage paint. And um, I double nutted everything. I didn't use any lock wire or lock nuts or uh, lock washers or anything. These will all be painted later. I didn't paint these now because when I put the wrench on them, I would just wreck the paint. So that's going to be painted at the very end. That's about it for now. What we're going to do next, going to put the... Uh, Put the governor weights on, right there. Get some springs on there. Get the springs adjusted to where I think it is a, a good location, or a good um, tension, rather. Timing gears, push rod, head, and we'll be well on our way to getting this thing running. Thanks for watching. Come back for more.